in the final regular season game ever to be played at the Irwin Center. Number nine, Texas came out on fire this one, Andrea. Yeah, and it was all about inside play from the start. We saw J.A.T. with that drive to the hoop. I thought uh, Lauren Ebo was tremendous, but more the freshman was the star uh, in the paint in the first half, as well as Rory Harmon. Harmon came out and usually distributes the ball to her teammates, had the opportunities, took what she was given, and scored some points. And then defensively, we know that she is really quick, really, really good at the defensive end, can create her own shot anytime. Rory Harmon scoring 13 points, second most on the team. Texas led by 20 at the break. Oklahoma State getting back in it a little bit in this one. They would pull within 11. Play got a bit sloppy as Audrey Warren turns it over. But overall, Texas built up such a huge lead. It was just too much to, for Oklahoma State to come back. From. Yeah, really insurmountable for Oklahoma State. They had some good runs in the third and fourth quarter. And I thought defensively, that zone really would gave Texas a lot of trouble. But again, we see the senior in Ebo step up right here. Matharu just makes a nice little cut into the teeth of that zone, able to score. So it was just some more pretty basketball from uh, Joanne Allen Taylor. Didn't shoot well today, but really showed great leadership skills. On senior day, Lauren Ebo with a career high 17 points in front of the eighth largest crowd to see a women's game in Irwin Center history. It's a Texas win.